Hello everyone, and welcome to, in my opinion, the top 5 melee weapons in Minecraft Dungeons. So remember, this list is my own opinion. Um, if you have any differences or similarities, make sure to comment them down below. So, I'm going to be testing out the weapon, showing it off on the training dummy. And for the final weapon, I will be going to uh, the mystery level or the cow level to prove why I think it's number one. So, at number five, we have the Swift Striker. So, the reason I think the Swift Striker is probably one of the better weapons in the game is because of all the abilities it has. Extra damage to unsuspecting enemies, Echo, and for me, I have Gilded Swirling. So, for my enchants, I have Void Strike, Critical Hit, and Committed. I think I really lucked out on this one because it has a lot of the best enchantments in the game. And I feel committed could have been sharpness, but nonetheless, it's very good. So for these stats, we have mid-range, lower mid-range power, lower speed, and low area. But it makes up for this in the power. So for a single hit, well, double hit, I guess. And you can see the damage slowly increasing because of Void Strike. Void Strike is probably the, one of the best, or the best, weapon enchants in the game. Let me go ahead and activate the mushrooms. You can see how much speed you can get. And this is without any armor. Yeah, there's a peak of 11 million. So let me just show. I don't think- yeah, it can't hit from here. As you can see, the area is pretty small. This seems to be the max distance. Still pretty decent, because you're going to want to get up close and personal with mobs to really get the best out of this weapon. I feel like one of the best enchantments I could have got, instead of committed, was either sharpness or gravity. Just so that you pull them closer to you so you don't have to spend as much time running around. And with certain armor, I think this weapon could become much better, but I'm just going by raw power. But yeah, that is number five, the Swift Striker. Alright, and for number four, we have the Diamond Pickaxe. This is a very versatile weapon where you really want to get keep some distance from the mobs because you can really take advantage of that one hit combo and perform a lot of swirling and shockwave. So of course on this one I have swirling, radiance, and shockwave. And also the mobs drop in for prospector. This one wasn't gilded but if it was I'd probably have to go for gravity. So like I said it's a one hit combo which can be really devastating. As you can see, you can just stay far back and repeatedly hit them with the shockwave. It's a good way if you're scared to get hit by the mobs, which in po Apocalypse plus 25, they can be really dangerous. So, and also to help you with that is Radiance, which also goes on the one hit combo. mushroom really helps with the DPS. Swirling damage is hard to see. Um, I know single damage. There it is. Let me go in here. So, for main damage on not max level, but max non-tower level and daily trial, we have 980,643. And for swirling damage, 603,473. So this is actually a lot of damage when it can hit all around you. Shockwave, we have 452,605 damage. And for Radiance, we have 226,308 health uh, healed. So the pickaxe can really come in use in clutch situations. I think that's when it, you can make the most out of it. It's not been an all problem, but it can really help you on those later levels if you learn how to use it right. So there's number four, the diamond pickaxe. 
All right, and for number three, we have the Starless Knight. So this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. I used Heart Stealer a lot at the beginning of my playthroughs, but in the end, I just had to go with the Starless Knight. Just because of all these abilities that you can stack on it, along with its very powerful combo and excess damage to nearby bombs. So when you look at the melee damage normally, you can see we start at 1 million and can get even a little bit past 2 million. On the Heart Stealer, we don't come anywhere close to that. The last final hit in the combo is a little more powerful than the first hit in this one's combo. So here, of course, we have all maxed out power. This is a really hard hitting weapon, but the downside is that it's slow, but we can fix that. So here we have area, pretty big area. I gotta say, um, I think I got pretty good with the enchantments. Just crit gilded would be probably a little better. So on the first hit here, they're 1,500,000. Second hit, already at 20 million. And you can see the damage. This can get really high. I guess I lucked out there with that first 20 million. You can see we're staying at a steady four and a half million and eight million. Let me go activate the mushroom. As you can see, this is a pretty good speed. It's area. See, I'm even hitting it from over here on the last hit. It has a very good combo. Let me go ahead and activate the gong. Almost as much as There we go. 25 million. So this weapon can be a real devastating boss to fear. I feel like committed, if you want to just use it solely for killing bosses, committed would be probably the better enchantment over sharpness. Just so you can get in that extra damage over time along with void strike. Overall, this is a really diverse weapon. You can use it in a lot of situations and it can really help you come out of situa certain situations alive. Especially when you have a mushroom and something with cooldowns, so you can always keep that up. A gong would be nice too. So there's number three, Starless Knight. All right, and for our number two spot, you probably already saw this coming. It's the Fighter's Bindings. These are probably the most used weapon in all the Minecraft Dungeons community just because of how good they are. You can see little power and little area, but it makes up for that in speed alone. You already can see it has turbo punches, an endless combo. I have critical hit, swirling and radiance. This critical hit can come real in real handy because you need to deal a little bit more damage. And this can really help you get those harder hits on on mobs and maybe even one shot some of them. Of course, radiance to help keep us alive. Just because of how fast the combo is, it's really nice. Swirling for that all around damage. And, all right, let me show you what it's like. If I could ask for a gilded one, I'd probably get Void Striker committed. Maybe even grab me. All right. As you can see, we aren't stop hitting, we aren't gonna stop hitting anywhere soon. Endless combo. You can see the damage. 188,000 and peaking at our crits at 566,000. Activate the mushroom and you'll see this moving speed. Yeah. And look how much uh, radiance and swirling are activating. Gong 2, I think we'll be able to reach 1 million. Yep. Even higher, one almost 2 million. I, you probably see now why this weapon is used so much. It's just because of the sheer power it can hold in the right hands. In the end, I think that the community was smart for choosing this weapon as the main one, but there's still one weapon that I think outranks it. So that's going to be our number one spot. But for now, at number two, we have the Fighter's Binding. All right, and at our number one place, we have the Whirlwind Axe. So I was really trying to choose only one axe. If I chose both, 
Curse would probably be at second, but I decided to go with one, and that happens to be the Whirlwind. So these have the exact same enchantments, except one of their abilities is different. This one has Mobs Explode, and this one has Shockwave. I think Shockwave's just a little more useful than exploding. Put it on, and show you what it's like. So, you can see the power is more than halfway. Area is very high because it had a 360 degree swing. Speed on the lower side, but mushrooms can fix that. So, as you see, with that voice strike, the damage can get really high, 5 million. Let me go ahead and activate the mushroom. As you can see, our damage starts to get really high, and you see how much that radiance and that swirling is activating. Swirling just gives an extra amount of damage on the spins. Every attack is a spin, which is really helpful, because it really keeps every mob around you out of your way. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the gong. You can see, just hit 10 million, 13 million, and a half. I think our feet's 13 million which is a lot of damage. Rivals, even the Starless Knight, which does have a slower attack speed. So overall, I think this is probably the most diverse and reliable weapon you could ask for, especially with the right enchantments and the right playstyle. Armor could also really help it. The Renegade and Wither Armor are probably the most useful. Probably Clate too. But overall, I think this is probably the best weapon in the game, just because how fu how much fun I have with it. So, now, I'm gonna go show you the weapon in action at the mystery level. Alright, so I've gone ahead and launched the level on plus 25, and I'm gonna be wearing the Renegade Armor just for the extra protection. I have Potion Barrier, Cooldown, and Protection. Not the best enchantments, but I really think they're Potion Barrier and Protection really useful at keeping me alive. And Cooldown lets me have my Mushroom always on because of its long duration. All right, so let's test it out on this first group of cows right here. As you can see, we're just mowing through them. The iron hide comes in really handy. I can pretty much keep it always up. You can see the wide damage range really comes in handy with these cows. They like to poop up a lot. And at the end, I'll show you what it's like against the boss. As you can see, it's taking us around three shots if you can kill the cows. Probably two now with this strength potion. Bomb. One. Enchanting cow. Barrier comes in handy a lot of time when you have those enchanted cards. I think I'm gonna roll onto this island right here. Gong. You can see there I just melted those cows. Two shots. Big group of cows. Gone off. Melt. The amount of damage you can get out with this is insane. It's really good at handling groups of enemies. Now we'll be able to see how it performs against a boss. Big hit back there. I'm gonna stay very close to him because of my amulet and my potion 
area. Finish him off right here. Kill this house cow. And there we go. So, as you can see, this weapon is really fun to use. Alright everyone, so in conclusion, the Whirlwind Axe is a very fun weapon that can help you in difficult situations against bosses and enemies alike. It's not too hard, but not too easy to get your hands on one of them. And in the end, I think you have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you realize why I chose the Whirlwind Axe as number one out of all the melee weapons in Minecraft Dungeons. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and goodbye.